Hey, I'm Michelle Rivard for Daytime Toronto. I'm here at the Artist Project. This is an exhibition with over 200 artists from Toronto and abroad. Joining me is Toronto mixed media artist Pete Kasperzak. Hey, Pete, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us today. Thanks for having me. Um, this is your first time with the Artist Project, or have you been uh, here before? This is my second year at the Artist Project, and um, Today I'm showcasing some of my new stuff, which I'm really stoked about doing, and uh, I hope I get a good response. Um, yeah. How did you get involved with the Artist Project? Actually, in 2009, Claire uh, came up to my booth. I was at the Toronto Outdoor Art Expo. She saw some of my stuff. I submitted some of my work, and uh, I was on board last year. It was the first year, which is great, and I'm hoping for um, a another great year this year. So, have you? Do you feel like that the artist project has been uh, helpful in your career as an artist? Um, I have to say, the artist project has been the best show that I've been a part of. They do a bang up job. Everything here is so great. Uh, I'm just excited and honored to be here. Actually, it's, it's very great. good. It's great. Thank you. So, um, you are a mixed media artist. I am. Um, you do a combination of photography and painting. Is that correct? That's correct. Um, like for this picture here. Um, I usually I take a photograph, um, tweak it a bit in Photoshop, make sure it's size as, and uh, I always paint on top of it, give it that final touch. I uh, put paint where I feel it's needed. Sometimes I get into like a like a zone where I'm half dizzy after I do it because I get that vision, and then I step back and I'm ready to fall over practically. So. so this one right here, that's San Francisco, and then we have a uh, more Toronto yep. kind of focus one. Tell me about that. Uh, this is a piece that I actually hand drew, and um, it's a hand-drawn picture that I did in black. I converted that to a vector format file, um, and then I cut it on a plotter, and I mounted it on uh, a, a, a black matte backing to give it that kind of popish shine. So I've seen from looking at um, some of your uh, work online that you have a, um, like, you like nighttime sort of stuff. And I've seen a lot of Toronto work. Is Toronto a source of inspiration for you? Absolutely. Toronto is uh, my hometown and uh, nightlife. I, I'm, a, I'm a nightlife kind of guy. So a lot of my pieces are based upon that. Uh, I love being out at night and that's 8 o'clock. That's when I wake up. Normal people wake up earlier, but 8 o'clock is when I wake up. 8 o'clock at go. night. 8 o'clock at night, yeah. <laughs> so I'm ready to go at 8 o'clock and uh, all my pieces are, are have that kind of uh, urban nightlight kind of vibe to them. Are there any areas in Toronto that you particularly just are totally inspired by and love shooting? You know what? I have to say, whenever I take a picture of Toronto, I like to I like people not to know that it's Toronto. Like, as for this one here, uh, you can see the CN Tower, obviously, and you can tell that that's Toronto. But a lot of the pieces, I like to have, oh, where was that taken kind of thing. Oh, oh that's Toronto. A lot of people wouldn't know where that photo was actually taken. So uh, I like to find little niches where not too many people have shot and uh, try working with that. In every, 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 I just want to get the perfect shot from wherever I am. And then you also do some t-shirt design and sneaker design? I do, yeah. I do. Um, this is actually one of my shirts. Uh, Toronto, it's like the subway line. And, uh, oh, I've been looking at that and I hadn't noticed, but yeah, yeah for sure. T.O., oh. so I'm Very a cool. Toronto guy, so I, I like to incorporate all my art into um, something something fun and funky that you could wear. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Cool. So we have a piece here that um, you took in LA, and we're going to you're going to kind of show me how you make it. So tell me just a little bit about the history of this photo. Okay, well, actually, I contacted the Hollywood sign people, and they said they gave me the okay to, uh, to go up there and shoot. And it was a bit of a process of getting the security and, like, all that. So um, during the day, you're allowed to go up there. There's joggers. It's, it's quite a hike, though. So me and my buddy parked the car and uh, climbed up the hill. It took about 45 minutes. It doesn't look high, but it is high. And then I, we sat there for about half an hour, and I just wanted to get the right photos. And then from there... I sized it to what I want, and uh, I, I, yeah, I obviously painted on top of it to just to give it that last kick. So, so you've done a little bit, some yellow, some pink, and we're gonna add a couple stars in. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I saved that for you guys. So, awesome. um, I'm just gonna put up a few little stars, and uh, yeah, hopefully okay, cool. finish off the piece. Let's so uh, let's see how you do it. Yeah. Very cool. So. Pete, I um, oh, grab your paint. It's all good. Um, yeah, I wanted to ask you about um, some other Hollywood connections that I uh, read about you doing. You've worked with some pretty big clients, hey? 
Um, yeah, actually, I have. Uh, my buddy lives down in, in Hollywood, and he he was the he was the guy who kind of uh, accommodated me down there, told me where to go, and um, and, and from there it it. it, it he, he was the main hookup, like I've never been there, he was great. He took us around and uh, I had to find this place, how to get up here myself, but he, he was great, he was great and yeah, he's the one hookup. <laughs> oh. um, and you've done uh, some work for Holt Renfrew? Uh, yeah, I work for a, a graphic firm and uh, do a lot of uh, graphics for, for Holt Renfrew, Harry Rosen and uh, whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I produce a lot of the graphics, and and that's where actually I have done uh, a lot of my uh, a lot of the vinyl stuff here. Very neat. All right, let's see the stars. Let's see how the magic's done. So if we yeah no get it. Get so right now yep. I have all the I, I like to mix and match my colors and um, everything's intact. Right now I'm just adding a white. It's a simple white, so it's nothing too fancy that I had to mix. So I'm just gonna add a few stars finish off the piece and um, and hopefully it'll be done. I might add a strobe light later, yeah. but that, that takes a while and I don't want you guys to be sitting here for an hour. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a few stars just to see more or less where they need to be. I have to get in that kind of zone. So if anybody's interested in uh, learning more about your art or maybe purchasing some pieces, how can they go about doing that? Uh, if you visit my website, seawoodinspires.me, uh, I have a lot of my, uh, my art on there. Facebook is actually a, a one that I update quite often and Twitter, so I upload pictures just to see, hey, do you guys like this kind of thing? So I would say Facebook, Twitter, uh, my website, as well as I have a clothing line website, pkartshop.com. So. You can check me out there. Awesome. Thanks. Right, so well, I'll let you get those stars right. in there. Great.